The same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Now Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he, and then he gets this high top fade making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business and it's a man unit. Then you ask it, why you not a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. This the same Negro that hated on Bernie with this same thing. I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asked for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good over KB and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. You would have to have range. I played a lot of characters, 60 movie roles. I'm not playing Cat Williams in there. I don't know, I don't know, Cat. We might not let you drink anymore the way you, you, I mean, we ain't even got- I'm not fueled by alcohol. I've had a sip, less than you. This is like Steve Harvey telling people he used to be homeless. That's my story. That's not his story. Steve Harvey wasn't never homeless. When he, Mark Curry was touring with him 25 years ago, he was making $3,000 a show in cash and doing five shows a week. They, they just tell the stories. This, my, thanks to my wife, I'm where I am. You said that about the first wife. You forget that? You told us it was her. Then you went and married somebody else that think like a man. Like, what are you talking about? They just, they think they can rewrite history. The, uh, uh, Guy Torrey did a beautiful special about the comedy store and Fat Tuesday, where he said that Steve and Cedric and Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish came through there and made all lies. Steve and Cedric never performed at the comedy store at all. Tiffany was only seen at the Laugh Factory. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. They tell you that themselves. I can't do that because I. Uh, Steve told you that he stopped doing stand up because he has seven TV shows. The only problem is when he stopped stand up, he didn't have those seven TV shows. He stopped stand up because he got in a comedy battle called the Championship of Stand Up Comedy with one Cat Williams in Detroit in front of 10,000 people and lost because Cat Williams said he was actually bald and that was a wig. And I went in and that's why he couldn't do stand up anymore. Imagine him coming to tell you another story where he got so big and it was Bernie and them's fault because they wanted to be movie stars. What? You called Ocean Eleven to get that nigga's part. What do you mean you didn't want to be a movie star? So on the behalf of Bernie, I, I would have to say what I have to say. Have you have ever been? On, have you ever been on tour with any of these guys? The guy, I, every guy I mentioned to you is not funny out there in real life. So, so no. Faison's never done his own tour in thirty years. Steve Harvey don't do stand up no more. Cedric doesn't write. I'm sorry, he doesn't write. Ricky Smiley has been playing the same old black woman forever. Like, you can't get a young fan base with that. Like, you got to be doing karaoke around the country to make that work. Right. And he is. But I'm a stand-up comedian. This is my 19th 100-city tour. I'm not going to have a conversation with these lazy bums that'll take a shortcut at any point. Yes, it's easier for you to juice than to get in the gym, but you don't get to bring that body in here talking crazy. Talk about how good you look. What? No, no, there's too many comics out there that are putting their life on the line to tell these jokes, man. Okay. They're all a group, Cedric. Steve, Ricky, they've been a group. Everybody knows that. They've been aligned. And, and there are these alliances in comedy. And if you stand against them, then they sometimes have a problem. But we don't let that change the content because that's all you know me for, is that I'm quite likely to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. You mean to tell me if Steve Harvey, your favorite comedian, you mean you've been waiting for him to do stand up for 15 years now? I mean, Steve got, a, got a, a lot of other DL, DL still out there. None of those irons matter to stand up. Who cares that they wrote a placard for you to do Family Feud on? Like, you're 
so you're successful because we're surprised you can talk for a living and it's entertaining that you're going to say some funny country things. But not a writer. Right. Not a writer. When you got into stand up, was crossing over, was doing TV, was doing movie, was that a, was that a part of it? You like, okay, I'm gonna do, I, I'm doing stand up. Okay, next next the the next progression is TV movies. Throughout throughout the history of stand up, sir, that's that's the goal for all of us. That's how it goes. That's why when you hear these dudes talking about, oh, I didn't want to be a movie star, you just know it's disingenuous. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Yeah, oh no, no, I just wanted to do a game show. Right. What? Are you sure? Are you sure? Because I thought you did Mark Curry's show over after he had just done hanging with Mr. Cooper. Why would you do all of that man's stuff that he did on his show on yours and then do the dude stand up when you go on the road and then you never put Mark Curry on your show or nothing? Like, if you don't say anything, these dudes will run over you. I don't know if you know how bullies operate. I but do. if you don't stand up for yourself, there really is nothing they won't do. Right. So. Do you consider yourself a king of comedy? Where the, where the can no, we? they they consider that. Oh, that like like when after Bernie left, them same three guys I'm telling you about the Kings. Yeah, right. Because DL is the greatest. Yeah. There's, there's no DL slander gets tolerated. Um, but they came to me. I was supposed to be the fourth King. I got the offer. Then what happened? But I turned it down. So why? Because you shit on Bernie, and I know the truth. You think I'm gonna let you shit on Bernie and then come get me? I'm the next king? Fuck you. <laughs> Why? Because the whole time Bernie was here, you was acting like you was funnier than him. The reason you was supposed to go last is because it was your tour. Tell the truth. It was Steve's tour. Not it was gonna be called the Kings of Comedy, it was Steve's tour. These are the guys opening for him. Of course you gotta close if it's your tour. That's why it was such a big deal. But you couldn't do it, because you can't beat the best. And until you humble yourself, you will forever be kinged by the king. And because you finally did it, because you didn't have no other choice, and now that he gone, you're going to act like, he wanted to be a movie star. You stop it. You stop it. That man was funnier than all of y'all, and y'all thought y'all had one over on him. You thought he was black and ugly, and you were good looking, and he couldn't make it, because you did. And that ain't the way comedy works. The king is the funniest, period, every time. And that's why no audience member was ever swayed. It didn't matter where Bernie went. You think if Bernie went first, he wasn't the king? <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Get your ego out of this. You let the best be the best, right? Cat, Cat William, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming on, bro. I really appreciate that. Thanks for sharing the, Thank you. the stories, setting the record straight. Now, you know they're going to double back. Impossible. Impossible. Only because if once you play this back, you'll realize I didn't say anything that made me look in a good light. I, I wasn't tearing down others to boost myself up. I, but I do have to acknowledge things that did not take place. Like, we're very ingenuous if we say this is not a game and we don't play it and people ain't in positions and people don't have their favorites and they group and they click. And, right. Well, that happens in all businesses. Right. We, no, no. Say what side you on. Say why you don't like the other side. And then get to the game. But in the game, I'm wiping the field with them to the point where they don't even compete anymore. So how you gonna let a dude that been on the bench for 15 years. Uh, I would have beat Jordan's ass. Shut up, Jordan is still alive. <laughs> we'll call Jordan right now. You can't beat him now. <laughs> Not then, you can't beat him now. Right. Cat Williams.